And now, the general weather around Alaska. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Alaska Weather. I'm meteorologist Peter Chan, coming to you from the National Weather Service in Alaska region on this Tuesday, January 13th, 2026. And a lot is going on across the state. We have some active weather along the Panhandle Gulf Coast, and we'll have another system coming in that'll impact much of the southwest, south central, and interior areas uh, to close out this week. We do have hazardous cold weather continuing from the Alaska Peninsula, southwest interior through the central and eastern interior. In fact, this morning it was 58 below zero at McGrath, and a number of locations in the central interior will be back down right between 50 to just shy of 60 below. But we have another windy and wet front that will be pulling across the panhandle tonight and into Wednesday. And after that system gets by with the high winds, a low pressure and frontal system with milder air is going to be coming up from the North Pacific into South Central and Southwest Alaska. And that moisture will spill over the Alaska Range into areas of the uh, Southwest, Western Interior, Central Interior areas could pick up some heavier snowfall later in the week. And then as we get past this week and near the end into early next week, a good portion of the mainland will be trending milder with a little drier weather for a change, as I said, starting later this weekend and especially through the first half of next week. Well, this morning uh, it was a cold one. Uh, Arctic Village was down to 56 below zero and even as of mid-afternoon, clear and frigid conditions, but very beautiful lighting looking to the southwest of this FAA at the airport camera. Uh, just a very cold winter scene, but beautiful there in terms of the color. And uh, for Tanana, clear and frigid, 53 degrees below zero. Tanana was 58 below uh, earlier this Tuesday morning, and uh, temperatures will be getting back down around that mark. Now, as we shift gears and head to the southeast part of the state, Skagway, rain and fog 39, but as you go up the Klondike Highway, above 2,500 feet. There is a winter storm warning now into much of Wednesday. Heavy wet snow falling through there and those higher elevations, especially up toward White Pass, you could see uh, as much as a couple feet of snowfall along with some strong gusty winds creating uh, blowing and drifting snow. Meanwhile, in the south end of the Panhandle, wind, rain and fog 50 degrees at Craig. Klawak was 55 as of mid-afternoon and strong winds are going to be migrating northward across the panhandle as we head through to this evening and tonight. Wind gust of 60 to 70 miles an hour will be possible with locally higher gust along some of the ridge lines and the higher terrain, especially along the outer uh, western coast. And another interesting item from the Alaska Ice Desk is that we've had some very cold weather really through December and the early new year. And the ice, the pack ice is advanced south now, so it's only about 30 miles to the north northeast of St. Paul. And it, this ice will likely drift far enough south to be in the vicinity of St. Paul by Friday. And then that system coming up from the North Pacific that'll impact South Central and Southwest Alaska will flip the winds back around more toward the south southwest. So the ice may actually start to retreat back to the north as we go through the later weekend and early next week. But the hazardous weather map is lit up with a, a lot of watch warnings and advisories. So the first group I wanna cover are the ones impacting the panhandle. Primarily high wind warnings from Ketchikan, Prince of Wales Island, all the way northwestward through uh, Yakutat. We're expecting strong winds along with this frontal system that's gonna gradually pivot northwestward across the panhandle tonight and into Wednesday. Wind gusts 60, 70 miles an hour will be possible and certainly locally higher gust in some of the terrain there that tends to get those higher gusts. Uh, on top of that, we have the winter storm warning for White Pass area and the area of the Klondike Highway above 2,500 feet, anywhere from one to nearly two feet of snow is expected tonight through the day into Wednesday evening. Now, as we come further westward, most of what you see here in the orange are cold weather advisories uh, for the cold temperatures that we're expecting to persist into a Thursday morning for the Panhandle, interior, southwest, central, eastern, interior, and even areas along the Beaufort Sea Coast and through Anatovic and Attigan Passes. And then 
We have a winter storm watch for the Kenai Peninsula for later Wednesday night and Thursday as that atmospheric river with the low pressure and front that comes north with the warmer moist air. There initially will be accumulating snow. That burst of snow will come across Kodiak Island uh, Wednesday night, changing to rain. And as those warmer temperatures come northward and encounter the cold air, there will be a period of accumulating snow over the Kenai Peninsula on up into South Central before it mixes with or even changes over to some rain and freezing rain. Some of the forecast models want to have Anchorage back up uh, 35 to near 40 degrees uh, for late Thursday night into Friday. Uh, whether or not that quite happens if, depends on what we get in terms of if we get enough downsloping to kill the precipitation process, but nevertheless, some active weather coming up and then if that's not enough, that moisture is going to butt up against the east slopes here of the Alaska Range, so some very heavy snows along the mountains there on the west side of the Cook Inlet. And then coming up the Susitna Valley, especially the western Susitna Valley, could get quite a snow dump with this initially here Thursday into Friday. And as that moisture translates northward across the western, southwest, central interior, there's going to be moderate and heavy snowfall here for Friday into Saturday. So stay tuned to later forecasts there. Also, winds increasing. So through the Bering Strait, St. Lawrence Island, you could have uh, considerable blowing snow as a result of those stronger winds. And taking a look at the high wind warning again, it's for the entire panhandle. The strongest winds migrating from uh, south to northwest, and some of the strongest ones will be up here through this region. We're looking at wind gusts, sustained winds of 30 to 40 miles an hour with gusts 60 to 70 miles an hour, and some of the uh, higher uh, wind ridge lines that get those typically higher wind gusts could see some peak wind gust into low end hurricane force uh, up around 75, 80 miles an hour, very attainable. Strongest winds coming tonight and into the day Wednesday. And then in that area above Skagway, along the uh, Klondike Highway, as I said, above 2,500 feet, we're looking at one to nearly two feet of snow with winds gusting as high as 65 miles an hour. So that will cause considerable blowing and drifting snow as well. So here is the moisture push coming up into the panhandle now. Here's the low center, the frontal system being pulled back to the north and west. We also have another little weak low that's scooting northward that could enhance the light snow over the eastern Kenai into the Anchorage Bowl. So there could be some additional light accumulations tonight and into Wednesday morning. Still very cold air down along the west side of the state into the eastern bearing and just a cold north northeasterly flow across the Aleutian chain. So that's uh, going to hold here for a bit. That's what's allowing the ice, the pack ice to advance to near St. Paul by Friday. And so on the weather map late tonight and into f Wednesday morning, low pressure coming on shore near between Cape Suckling and Yakutat Bay with strong gusty winds with a diminishing frontal boundary. And to the west, a weak low coming up toward uh, eastern Kenai, western Prince William Sound could provide some additional light snow to areas of south central. And then on Wednesday afternoon, we still have weak low over the northern Kenai that could keep some light snow going, but begin to diminish Wednesday afternoon and Wednesday evening. And then we look to the south here in the North Pacific. Here comes the next low for Thursday. This warm front as it comes north will produce a burst of accumulating snow across Kodiak Island for Wednesday night before it mixes with and changes to rain with the arrival of the warmer temperatures. As that comes northward, there will be accumulating snow across the Kenai Peninsula. Uh, the Anchorage Forecast Office will have updates regarding potential advisories or warnings uh, for other parts of South Central and Southwest Alaska. Uh, that'll be issued here probably early on Wednesday morning, so stay tuned to later updates. And then for Friday, that low system and moisture comes northward into the colder air across the central interior. So that's going to result in areas of moderate to heavy snow. So those winter storm watches could be updated to either winter weather advisories or winter storm warnings, depending on where the expected uh, heavier snowfall amounts will occur. But it's going to be active weather. And after that system, things will begin to improve on Saturday. But we still have another very cold night coming up. Areas of the uh, central eastern interior from places like, oh, from McGrath on up toward Galena, Tanana, on up to Arctic Village could see low temperatures at or colder than 50 below. Uh, we find temperatures remaining above 40, the southern panhandle over toward Sitka, and generally above freezing at sea level uh, across much of the panhandle. 
And then for high temperatures Wednesday afternoon, generally in the 40s, maybe an isolated 50 as far north as uh, Juneau. But uh, the gusty winds will be, I think, strongest in the morning hours and the winds will gradually begin to come down as we get into Wednesday evening and overnight Wednesday night. Back here into south central, temperatures moderate a little bit, but still quite cold across much of the western interior central areas. Highs uh, not getting above 30 below. And then for uh, Thursday morning, we could still see some temperatures near 50 below in a couple spots, maybe up toward Arctic Village. But overall, a slight modification in temperatures. And we're going to have that moisture coming up north uh, from north or south to north with that next low pressure. So as that heads northward, it's going to change over to some a moderate and heavier snowfall across the Alaska Range, parts of the southwest interior into south central as we go through Thursday into Friday. And temperatures uh, later Thursday afternoon or evening could approach uh, freezing uh, around Anchorage and certainly above freezing like at uh, Homer. So this is going to be an interesting system because we have to determine what, if any, impact downslope could have on killing the precipitation process or some moisture coming in on an angle that would allow for more in the way of it to come up Cook Inlet and really give areas of south central uh, some heavier snowfall. So have more on that come tomorrow, but still temperatures remain below zero across the northern and western mainland. But you notice that temperatures with the clouds increasing and moisture increasing, we're starting to see temperatures south of the Alaska range getting back up around and above 20. So here is the extended outlook January 19th through the 23rd. After this weekend, as we get toward uh, Sunday, Monday of next week, we do anticipate a milder southerly flow that's going to be drier up into southwest and south central Alaska. Temperatures will average closer to normal here across the panhandle. By the time we get around January 22nd, 3rd or 4th, colder air, high pressure is going to build. Arctic high pressure will build over northwest Canada and pull back in some colder than normal temperatures, I think, to the panhandle and along the Elkan border. So keep that in mind. This warm up will be brief and especially more geared towards south central and southwest Alaska because that's the area where the southerly flow will tend to uh, bring in the, the milder air. Plus, we'll have a ridge of high pressure that suppresses uh, any precipitation. So what that trends toward for January 19th through the 23rd, below normal precipitation for a change across the Gulf Coast, inland areas, including the inner channels of the Panhandle and coming into south central Alaska, generally south of the Alaska Range. This could be a little drier period, so keep that in mind. And then moisture, uh, maybe a bit above normal precipitation is expected more likely along the Brooks Range and especially north slope and Arctic coast, January 19th through the 23rd.